This is the octagon, an audible roar from the crowd. Gloves, kicks, and knees colliding with one another. Every year, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, which is widely regarded as the uncontested king of mixed martial arts, presents us with hundreds of these exciting spectacles, which feature the best competitors from all over the world. However, in the midst of the contests for championships and the viral debates, there are plenty of true jewels that are frequently lost in the sheer volume of movement. These are the knockouts that are deserving of a second look. These are the thunderous finishes that were somehow overlooked when they were being evaluated. Consequently, fasten your combat gloves, because we are going to delve into the depths of the Ultimate Fighting Championship in the year 2023 in order to discover five knockouts that will leave you reeling in shock. Number 1. Kevin Holland vs. Alex Morano Trailblazer is a moniker that should be remembered, and it belongs to Kevin Holland. In addition to the flashy walkouts and hilarious McDrops, this middleweight fighter is a fan favorite for a number of reasons. Hands are prone by him, and he does so efficiently. His opponent was Alex Morano, a strong veteran who was known for his brawling style. The fight took place at UFC 272 in March of 2023. In the second round of the battle, Holland unleashed a head kick that was picture-perfect and connected with Morano's chin. The fight was a back-and-forth clash between the two fighters. Almost immediately, the influence was felt. Morano collapsed completely to the canvas, landing on his face, as Holland stood triumphantly with his arms raised in victory. Knockout of the night honors were bestowed upon him as a result of the knockout, which was flawless in every way. However, in the middle of the hoopla surrounding the major event, Holland's masterwork was pushed to the side. Stay away from it. This head kick was a work of art, a demonstration of Holland's technical expertise and timing, and it was perfect in every way. Number 2. Jerzynho Rosenstruck vs. Chris Dawkins. There are very few fighters that are able to wield the sledgehammer of knockout power like Jerzynho Rosenstruck within the heavyweight class, which is a land of giants. At UFC 271, which took place in February 2023, this former kickboxing champion unleashed his knockout power on the rising prospect Chris Dawkins. His punches are quite powerful, and they have the ability to knock out opponents. One right hand from Rosenstruck was all that was required to shift the course of the match against Dawkins, who was unbeaten at the time and riding a wave of expectations. The punch hit with the ferocity of a freight train, sending Dawkins flying to the canvas like a tree that had been toppled. It was not necessary for the referee to count. Indeed, this was more than simply a knockout. It was a message. Because of his vicious performance, Rosenstruck was awarded the coveted Knockout of the Year title by a number of mixed martial arts publications. Nevertheless, the memory of this thunderous finish has been diminished as a result of two successive defeats. The raw power that hides within the heavyweight ranks was brought home to me, and this right hand was a physical reminder of that. Number 3. Rafael Daz Anjos vs. Brian Barberina the former lightweight champion of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Rafael Dos Anjos, is a legend in the sport. On the other hand, he continued to disprove his critics at the welterweight division. The seasoned welterweight fighter Brian Barberina, who is known for his relentless aggressiveness, has entered the fray. At UFC Fight Night 207, which took place in November 2023, the confrontation between these two fighters was a barn burner, with both of them exchanging leather with wild abandon. However, in the third round, Dos Anjos executed a flying knee that would become the stuff of highlight reels. This move appeared to come out of nowhere, with no prior preparation. In the process of landing face first on the canvas, Barbarana was sent into orbit after being struck by the knee, which caught him flush in the chin. The crowd went into a frenzy. All of the pundits went absolutely crazy. The moment was not merely a knockout, rather, it was a demonstration of tremendous athleticism and the knowledge of a veteran. This airborne masterpiece gave Doz and Joes a new lease on life, and it caused them to become an overnight sensation once more. This knee, however, has been put on the back burner as a result of his defeat in his subsequent battle. This is not fair. This flying knees serve as a reminder that even seasoned mixed martial arts competitors are capable of doing magic, and Doz and Joes continues to be a formidable opponent. Number 4. Randy Brown vs. Matt Semmelsberger Known as the brown sugar of the welterweight category, Randy Brown is renowned for his unconventional movements and striking that is both flamboyant and powerful. He competed against Matt Semmelsberger, a tough veteran who was constantly hunting for a finish, at UFC Fight Night 211, which took place in July of 2023. The battle was a technical chess match, 
with both fighters being aware of one other and warriors being frightened of the weaponry that the other possessed. In contrast, Brown unleashed a weapon from his unconventional armory during the second round, which was a spinning elbow that appeared to violate the laws of physics. With the ease of a dancer, he turned around, and with a terrible precision, his elbow made contact with Semmelsberger's temple. The effect was felt immediately. As Semmelsberger's legs buckled, his eyes rolled back, and he crumpled to the canvas. He appeared to be a marionette with its strings severed. Brown stood motionless, a look of incredulity etched across his face, and then he finally raised his arms in triumph for the first time. Both commentators were at a loss for words. The crowd began to roar. It was not simply a knockout. It was a piece of art, a moment of sheer technical excellence and audacious innovation. This was a big win. Brown got the knockout of the night for his awesome brown sugar elbow. But his next fight didn't go well, so it kind of took the spotlight away from this amazing moment. Unjustifiably so, even. The octagon serves as a canvas for inventiveness, and Brown is a budding artist who ought to be watched. This spinning elbow served as a reminder of this potential. Number 5. Mike Mathatha vs. Andrew Fialdo There are some hidden jewels that are not produced by well-known names. There are times when the most impressive knockouts are delivered by competitors who are just making their debut on the main stage. Enter Mike Mathatha, a lightweight who made his debut in the Ultimate Fighting Championship at UFC 275 in June of 2023. The person he was competing against, Andrew Fialho, was a seasoned veteran who was looking to get back on track. In the opening round of the battle, Mathatha fired a flying knee that appeared to defy gravity. This occurred seemingly out of nowhere. The bout was a competitive back and forth. With the force of a meteor, it arced through the air and made contact with Fiolo's chin, perfectly aligning with it. In the moment that he collapsed to the canvas like a fallen statue, Fiolo became rigid, his eyes remaining empty. A fast action was taken by the referee, who immediately waved off the battle. Mathatha erupted in jubilation, a newcomer declaring his arrival in the most forceful manner that was imaginable. Because of this flying knee, Mathatha became an overnight phenomenon within a short period of time. But Mathatha, like many other newbies, was defeated in his subsequent battle, and the memory of this incredible knockout began to fade away. This flying knee was a ray of optimism, a demonstration of the untapped ability that was waiting to be discovered in the undercard of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. These knockouts serve as reminders that brilliance can originate from any source, from well-known veterans to undiscovered newbies, and that even in the thick of the fireworks that are being displayed at the main event, there are moments of pure magic that are waiting to be discovered. As a result, the next time you sit down to watch a UFC event, you shouldn't only concentrate on the headlines. Be sure to keep an eye out for the battles that are going to take place on the undercard, the heroes that you did not expect, and the hidden jewels that will leave you reeling in shock. Because every fight that takes place inside the octagon has the potential to be a masterpiece lying dormant, just waiting to be discovered. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.